go as slow as shadow on the mic I play to win, never to lose In the contest of champions I'm the one that shoes Swipe straight down, my moves are slick Dexterity more heavily, I dodge quick Class champ, I'm the master of the game Cosmic science, skill tech mutant I claim Arena and chill grind, that's how I roll No stress, no drama, just on patrol The fight, I'm swift, my tactics excite Lost shadows in the arena, ready to ignite From the streets to the screen, my skills are renowned in the world of Marvel, I'm the King Crown. So listen up, here's the story of the champ, Lord Shadow's the name. I'm the Grime Track fan. Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. Yes, it is that time again. Time to rank up some champions. Now, in this video, we've got three rank ups for you. The first rank up, I'll give you guys a hint, is a rank up that I did because of the uh, current was it spring of woe or something like that uh and i heard that this champion was a good option for one of the objectives okay the next one is going to be um a seven star rank two and that one is one that i actually thought about taking to rank three and then we'll end the video with another rank two seven star okay so you got the first one which is going to be to rank four six star and then you've got two rank two seven stars so if you think you can guess who i took up leave a comment below but we are about to reveal it in five four three two one first one up human torch yes i have not taken my human torch up all this time he's been ranked three one of the reasons is that i run the ouchy masteries not only is torch not friendly to them but it actually works against him when he's bleeding it reduces the duration of his incinerates so in the beginning of the fight while I have that bleed debuff on me from the double edge mastery, he's pretty much gimped, okay? But once that goes, you know, away, I think it's, what, 30 seconds or something like that? Then he can fight a little bit, you know, normally. But that delays things. So that's why I didn't tend to use him very often. But I heard that against uh, this summer of woe, um, I think it's um, uh, uh, Immortal Iron Fist, uh, who is a mystic. I heard that he does well against him. And I'm not trying to get a solo with him or anything like that. I want to get this thing done. I saw that it had root all over the place, so I just want to get it done. So anything that would help me do that. Now... I thought about taking him to rank five, but not for just this. I'll, I'll use revives uh, rather than use those resources to take him up. Um, but he's still an awesome, awesome uh, character. When he first came out, I was not impressed and neither were a lot of my colleagues. We were not impressed. The only one that saw the potential of the people that you know, made YouTube videos was Legacy. And he was saying, guys, guys, you're not seeing his potential. And we were just like, yeah, 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 yeah. But eventually we saw the potential and we were like, okay, wait a minute. He's one of the strongest against mystics, you know? So not upset about having to take him up to rank four. I was going to do it eventually. I don't know about taking these champs to rank five when we have seven stars, but he's not available yet as a seven star. And uh, once he becomes available as a seven star, yeah, that's going to be interesting. All right. So that's the rationale and why I took up Human Torch. Now, the next one, the first of the two rank two seven stars is the serpent 
Now, I just recently got this guy. And let me tell you, he is a beast, okay? A beast. <laughs> I already have him in my Battlegrounds deck. And I have used him on both offense and defense and won because of him. He is crazy. I absolutely like this guy, okay? Now, when I first got him, and this is before the Omega Days uh, crystal opening, if you missed that one, you need to go see it. But before that, I was taking him to rank three, even unawakened. Okay, that should tell you something. I was going to take him up to rank three. But then I pulled who I pulled, and then I had to leave him at rank two for now because I had somebody else that I wanted to take up to rank three, which I did. Okay, but he, even at rank two, he is a dual threat. He is an absolute dual threat. He's great against evaders. If you've had to fight him, you know what he does to your evade. So he does that same thing when you're fighting against an evader as well. So he's great to deal with some of these evade champions. Okay. But, oh my goodness, his damage... And remember, I do run the Ouchie Masteries, but his damage, crazy good. Crazy good, okay? So, I still want to take him to rank three. But I'm trying to spread things out across the classes, okay? So, I have a Mystic at rank three, seven star. I have a Skill at rank three, seven star. I have a mutant at rank three, seven star, and I have a cosmic, okay? Four champions at rank three. I have not explored the necropolis yet, or else I could take another champ to rank three. But we'll, we'll, we'll do that later. We, we're gonna do it eventually. Just, I'm not, just not in the mood to do that right just yet, okay? All right, so, the Serpent was a champion, and I, I did that rank up a while ago, okay? Now, for the final, final rank up of the video, and that is going to be the Juggernaut, the unstoppable Juggernaut. So, when I got Juggernaut, I already knew he was going to get ranked up. There was no question. Now, he is Mystic. And I already have a Mystic. But I need to take him to rank two to put him in the position to go to rank three. Because eventually, maybe during the 4th of July sales, they'll have a two to three gem. And I'll spin it and get a Mystic. I want to have a good viable champion that I can use that on, even though I want to spread things out. You never know, okay? If it's a generic two to three, then I'm going to take up a tech or a science, okay? But if it's not a generic, I want to have somebody. So if it's a cosmic, I've got the serpent. If it's a mystic, I got juggernaut. Um, and there's a few. Um, you know, I have a science, I have a tech that I would take up, okay? So anyway, that is going to do it for the video, guys. Thank you all for watching. Take care. Hit the like button if you enjoy it. Leave a comment. Let me know what you thought about this video. Oh, and you see uh, Juggernaut's Awakened Ability? All it gives him to me that I would be interested in is a chance to nullify buffs. That's, that's a great utility, but not necessary. Okay? He does not need to be awakened. All right? Take care, and you all have a blessed day. Arena and chill grind, that's how we roll No stress, no drama, just on patrol In the fight he swift, his tactics be tight Those shadows in the arena ready to ignite From the streets to the screen, his skills be renowned In the world of Marvel, Lord, the King Crown